I'm sure you've probably been getting complaints about the smell from the spill or um, you've been getting complaints about uh, health issues. Tell me a little bit about your role in this event today. Sure, yeah. Uh, I was called by um, some folks here in the neighborhood. Uh, we're closely with some individuals in the Junction Coalition on some a uh, variety of different issues. Um, and they rose sort of this, uh, heightened this concern and heightened my awareness around this issue a little earlier this uh, week. Um, you know, so there's a lot we know, um, there's a lot we still don't know about this and what happened here. Uh, unfortunately, there just hasn't been a significant amount of information that have come out uh, on reporting on, on, you know, what's going on and, and, and uh, how much sort of hazard is, is sort of still left out there. Um, we know that, you know, on the, sometime on the evening of the 5th, people started to smell a uh, weird smell sort of in a neighborhood farther away from here a few days later that the city identified that what the chemical was, uh, styrene in, in, involved in making sort of plastics and that it was sourced, it was spilled here at this um, global chemical uh, resources uh, company here right next to us. Uh, you know, we still don't know a lot of stuff though. Uh, we really don't know what the, if there is any sort of water impact uh, on this. Uh, they were flushing the pipes to, you know, send the water to the treatment plant, but, you know, is their treatment plant really uh, sort of able to treat for this sort of chemical? Um, and what is, you know, is there any sort of accountability for this company here? Uh, it took a few days before the city to be able to identify where uh, this had actually occurred. You know, uh, people in this community have a right to know uh, when an event like this happens uh, and being able to sort of get that information to, to people quickly and accurately is important. Uh, if this company did not comply with regulations that require them to report of a spill, uh, then that put a lot of people in this neighborhood at risk. Uh, the, the solution that sort of leaked uh, not only has airborne, you know, uh, problems that, that are involved with it and it is a carcinogen, but it is also highly flammable. And if that were to sort of catch fire, there's a high, high chance that it could explode and put uh, a lot of people at some serious uh, long-term risk. And so we need to make sure that, that people, um, you know, polluters like this are um, held responsible for, for their actions when uh, they are not sort of be good partners um, to, to uh, individuals in their community. What officials do you want to hear from? Um, really, it would be really great to hear from the fire department uh, and to know a lot more about, you know, what had happened, uh, how much of the pollutant actually sort of got into, uh, was leaked, how much got into the water, um, it, and, you know, what, so, what's going to happen with this company? Are they, uh, in fact, being investigated? Um, because, you know, we want to make sure that uh, our, our, our neighborhoods are safe, uh, and that goes for um, these types of environmental concerns as well.